I don't know. Maybe I should just sign one of those exclusive deals like you guys. Your new book seems to be selling like mad. Yeah, well, it all goes back to something my grandmother told me when I was a kid. Holden, she said, the big bucks are in dick and fart jokes. She was a churchgoer. Oh, the cry from the heart of a real artist trapped in commercial hell, pitying his good fortune. I'm sure you can dry your eyes on all those fat checks you rake in. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? Did, did I detect a note of bitter envy in there? Nope, I'm happy my stuff gets read at all. There's very little market for hearts and flowers in the spandex-clad, big pecs, big tits, big guns field. If I sell two issues, I feel like John Grishel. Well, it's all about marketing. Over or underweight guys that don't get laid. They're our bread and butter. People like those two outside should be yours. I mean, sadly, there are more of our core audience. Kind of gives you a little charge, though. See two people like that in love? And all over Banky's car, no less. You know that car's seeing more action right now than it's seen in years? Bubbly guy like that? It's hard to figure out why. You gotta respect that kind of display of affection. You know what I mean? Sure, it's crazy, it's rude, it's self-absorbed, but, uh, you know, it's love. It's not love. Oh, says you. That out there? That's fleeting. Fleeting? Mm-hmm. Well, I gotta split. It was really nice meeting you. Good luck with your book. Tell Hooper I'll call him later. And tell your friend to calm down. Shut up already. You shut up. You're insane. Archie is not fucking Mr. Weatherby. Deny, deny, deny. Where's Alyssa? Uh, she left. She said she'd call you later. Look, he's just offering to help Archie with his fucking homework. Read between the lines, bitch. Fuck this. Let's go. Traffic. Holden. What? Let's go. You see that dent in the hood of your car? Son of a bitch! Let me guess. You like her. Oh. Miss Alyssa Jones. She's all right. As long as that's all. 